Hello aspiring college applicants, so today we're going to discuss some common mistakes to avoid when tackling the Common App essay, as well as how to stand out with your writing. I also want to say that the common application provided by commonapp.org is by far not the only common application out there for college admissions. There's other ones such as the common application for applying to MBA programs, HBCUs, California, Texas-based schools, and so forth. Now, if you want to know about these alternative common applications, then you will find them within my free student success toolkit a spreadsheet not only listing them but also it shows you which schools accept them how to get application fee waivers and more now with each essay via the Common App, you will be given a minimum of 250 words and a maximum of 650 words to convey your message. With that being said, feel free to follow me on TikTok and Instagram and check out my various free toolkits for college admissions and financial aid resources down below in the description box. Anywho, let's get started. So for the first prompt, it says, some students have a background, identity, interests, or talents that is so meaningful they believe their application would be incomplete without it. If this sounds like you, then please share your story. For this one, avoid simply listing your background, interests, identity, or talent. Instead, focus on sharing a compelling story that highlights the meaningful impact it has had on your life. In terms of highlighting an interest, this may be a great opportunity to highlight perhaps an interest in going into research in your field of study and contributing to your school and industry in that way. So keep that in mind and also make sure your essay reflects your personal growth and demonstrates why your application would be incomplete without this aspect. Okay, so next up we have this prompt. The lessons we take from obstacles we encounter can be fundamental to later success. Recount a time when you faced a challenge, setback, or failure. How did it affect you and what did you learn from that experience? So in prompt two, be cautious not to dwell solely on the challenge, setback, or failure itself. When I edit students' essays, they often do this and as a result, uh, they might get rejected from not only schools but also scholarships. So instead, emphasize the lessons you learned and how that experience and the lessons learned shaped you, such as if it shifted your mindset, inspired you to study a specific major, and so forth. So essentially, you want to show the admissions officers how you grew as a person and how this experience contributed to your resilience and determination. Also keep in mind that talking about your challenges in life doesn't necessarily have to be trauma related and oversharing. So 29 out of the 30 scholarships that I personally won, I did not account for trauma. Also, I made a separate video relating to this topic and why that approach with your writing may in some cases work against you. So keep it out. So check it out when you can because we need to talk about this more. But moving forward here. Up next is prompt number three, which says reflect on a time when you questioned or challenged a belief or idea. What prompted your thinking? What was the outcome? Now, when addressing prompt number three, avoid superficial or general cliche responses. So for example, saying, one day I saw a quote on social media that made me question my beliefs about the importance of kindness. It made me realize that kindness is important and that I should be kind to others. See, what you want to do instead is to dig deep and share a genuine and more specific moment when you questioned or challenged a belief or idea. It's even better when the realization you have also makes your reader go, wow, I never thought of that. And they are also learning something new as well, such as a new perspective or concept. You also want to explain the thought process that prompted your thinking and discuss the outcome, highlighting the impact it had on your perspective and personal growth. And as it relates to essays, definitely consider checking out my scholarship strategy book or program. Even though it's about how to win scholarships using my strategies, many have also used it for college admissions since the process is fairly similar, especially in terms of writing for applications. For instance, I had this high school senior win over $246,000 in scholarships and this college junior slash senior who won 23 scholarships. And one of their favorite parts about the program specifically was the essay section. See, I majored in journalism and even worked for a major news station at the national level while still being in college so I have a really good grasp on how to write more effectively to capture the reader and viewers attention but anywho that will be linked in the description box down below okay let's move on here so for prompt four it reads reflect on something that someone has done for you that has made you happy or thankful in a surprising way how has this gratitude affected or motivated you 
Now with this one, I know it says or when specifying how the gratitude affected or motivated you, but if you can instead show how it affected and motivated you, that's even better and will make your writing sound a lot more holistic. Also the key word for this one is at the end of the first sentence, which is in a surprising way. Many may instead approach this prompt in a more predictable way, for instance saying, I was grateful for my dentist fixing my teeth and because of them that inspired me to become a dentist. Well, that's like a no-brainer and not at all surprising. Also with this prompt, you want to discuss the ways it inspired you to give back or influenced your outlook on life. So essentially showing the admissions officers the transformative power of gratitude. Moving on to prompt number five, it reads, discuss an accomplishment, event, or realization that sparked a period of personal growth and a new understanding of yourself or others. So with this one, prop number five, again, similar to prop number one, you want to avoid listing accomplishments, events, or realizations without reflecting on their personal significance. Also for this prompt, even though it says or, technically you can address all three parts of it as long as it correlates. For instance, let's say that you went to a youth conference, which in this case is the event, and you were there to compete for something and ended up winning, which is the accomplishment, However, you didn't have high expectations of succeeding beforehand and felt some imposter syndrome, but after winning, you realized the third component of this prompt, the importance of putting yourself out there, believing in yourself, and so forth. So that's just an example of incorporating the elements of accomplishment, event, or realization within the same essay. Now, if you can't think of something that correlates with all three or two of them, that's fine. Just choose which to target separately and elaborate from there. Now for prompt number six, it says, describe a topic, idea, or concept you find so engaging that it makes you lose all track of time. Why does it captivate you? What or who do you turn to when you want to learn more? For this one, make sure to genuinely convey your passion for the topic, idea, or concept. I personally recommend that if you choose this prompt to have this one be more so relating to an idea or topic uh, relating to your major or study concentration. Also with this one, the key is to make it engaging and educational for your reader as well. Like if you're enthusiastic about statistics or math in general, well, a lot of people are not, so you need to creatively make your writing interesting. I feel like this prompt is a bit harder to approach if you're studying something that many people might deem as quote unquote, not as important to society to function or as interesting and accessible to understand. So you'll have to work a bit harder to captivate the attention of your readers, such as using metaphors, analogies, and imagery for them to better understand. So keep that in mind. And also for accessibility, if you are writing about something that is so niche, right? Please write in a way of where even a child could comprehend and understand, retain the information and be interested to learning more. Like your end goal for this prompt is to essentially have your reader be so curious about this particular topic that once they evaluate over your application, they go online on their own separate time uh, to learn more about it. Also for this prompt, you want to discuss the sources or individuals you turn to when you want to learn more, which will further showcase your genuine interest and dedication to learning. So if this was, let's say, related more to your study concentration, you might want to research beforehand some industry leaders within that particular career field and so forth. Or perhaps even niche news sources, such as how there is business news, education news, science news, if that perhaps is your main go-to source for learning more information about your interests. And finally, prompt number seven says, share an essay on any topic of your choice. It can be one you've already written, one that responds to a different prompt, or one of your own design. So for this one, don't choose a topic that fails to highlight your unique qualities or experiences. Also be careful not to submit an essay that is off topic or doesn't align with the desired attributes colleges are looking for. So choose a topic that showcases your strengths and presents a compelling narrative that adds value to your application. Now that we have covered all the prompts, you're probably wondering which prompts did students write the most about? Well, according to the Common App, prompt number seven, the topic of your choice essay, ranked first with about 24.1% of applicants using. Then there was prompt number five, the discuss an accomplishment, event, or realization essay, which came in second place with 23.7% of applicants. And third place was prompt number two, the challenge, setback, or failure theme essay with 21.1% of common app applicants. 
So out of all seven topics, these three prompts made up nearly 69% of college essays. Now, if you want to potentially stand out more, it might be worth approaching the lesser used prompts, which in turn might just make your writing more memorable. But of course, if you feel you can convey something better with the more popular prompts, then feel free to do so. Finally, I recommend writing an essay for each of these prompts, maybe like a short draft version of each, then sending them over to multiple people to read over and rank which they found the most engaging to read. So sharing with your parents, teacher, coach, counselor, whoever it may be. And speaking of which, feel free to invite them to my free training on how your community can help you with obtaining scholarships. You can find that free training as well as another one that covers alternative forms of financial aid outside of loans and outside of the FAFSA linked below in the description box. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to like, share this video and comment with questions that you have and also follow me on TikTok and Instagram where I have even more helpful advice for you guys. And don't forget those free toolkits linked down below in the description box or on my website, scholarship-guru.com. Bye.